everyone, I am here with this tutorial for you today. It is using the Nude Tude palette from The Balm. Um, this is actually a collaborative eye look. I'm uh, teaming up with Nicole or Envy Makeup Lover. She's gonna be doing a day look using this palette and I am doing the night look. So I came up with this really pretty kind of silvery, burgundy, smoky eye. The main colors that I used here was, uh, were Sassy, which is this really pretty white, um, sexy, which is this gorgeous, probably one of my favorite colors out of the whole palette, this gorgeous kind of burgundy um, red color, and then the black. And I really liked the way that it came out. I thought that it was um, really pretty for coming into the fall time for a night look. I would wear this during the day. Uh, just depends on what you're comfortable with. I paired it with just a soft pink cheeks using Elf's Tickled Pink, and then just a soft kind of nudie pink lip using uh, Max Angel, which I love this color. So um, let me zoom you in so you can see what it looks like. I really love the way that the silvery white color kind of works with that um, reddish brown burgundy color. Um, so yeah, this is the look, and if you want to see how I created this look, then please stay tuned, and don't forget to check out Nicole's video. I will link that down below, and I will see you guys in a few minutes. Bye! So I've already primed my eye with my Too Faced Shadow Insurance. You just need the tiniest bit. Then I'm going to go in with my Maybelline Color Tattoo in Too Cool. Now this one is kind of the icy silvery white color, and you can use your finger to apply this. I'm just going to use this brush here. This is the Large Shader E60 brush. And I'm just going to put that starting on the inner corner and work my way out. So you're going to grab your Nude Tude palette from The Balm. And you're going to start out with this color here called Sassy. And it's a nice white shade. And you're just going to use a flat shader brush like this. This is the E55 from Sigma. And you're just going to make sure you tap off any excess. Start in this inner corner and start patting it out. Go right into that inner corner, pat it out, keep it on the lid. And you can even take some and drag it right underneath a little bit. Then you're gonna grab a pointed shader brush like this. This is the Sedona Lace EB15. And I'm gonna go in with this color here called Sophisticated. It is a nice kind of like bronzy brown color. You just need the tiniest bit, tap off any excess so you don't have any fallout. You're gonna start right here in this outer part, and we're just going to run this right into the crease. And you're gonna take it almost all the way in to get into right about there. Next, you're gonna go in with a kind of pinched shader brush. See how it's kind of pinched, it's fluffy, and then um, it kind of is tapered in like that. And I'm gonna go in with this color Sexy, which is a gorgeous kind of matte, cranberry shade. Again, tap off the excess. And I'm just going to start patting this right in this outer part right here, this outer part of your eye. Just pat it and just kind of start feathering it in a little bit. Then go back in with that sassy color, which is that white and just kind of overlap that so we can start getting that blended. And you're just going to go back and forth until you have that blended how you like it. Okay, I'm going to go back in with the brush that we used to apply this crease color and just kind of blend this out. Now since this palette doesn't have any matte cream shades, I'm going to take my Meat, pa Meat Matte Palette and I'm just going to go in with this color called Matte Smith. It's just a cream toned um, matte color. You can use any um, matte cream shade that you want. And I'm also going to use this big fluffy brush. I like this because it's really dense and it's great at kind of blending out any harsh lines. Then I'm going to take that pointed brush again and I'm going to go in with Sirius which is this beautiful matte black. And you just need a tiny bit. Again, tap off the excess so that you don't have fallout. And just kind of start right in that outer corner. And you're just gonna start blending it in. I'm gonna go back in with that cranberry shade, that sexy color. 
and just tap that over it because we don't want to lose that cranberry color. So it's all about kind of layering and relayering to get everything blended. I'm going to go back in with that fluffy brush again and just kind of use the edge of it and just kind of buff this out. You can even use the tip of it. I just kind of wiped off any of that silvery white color and I'm just going to kind of pat back and forth between the two. A little small detailed brush like this. This is from BH Cosmetics. I'm going to go in with that um, sexy color and run that on the lower lash line. And then take the black, just do that right on the outer corner. From Urban Decay. I'm use my Jordana Fabu Liner and do a little bit of a wing. Just using the CoverGirl Lash Blast Fusion in Waterproof. And then for the rest of my face, I'm going to use my Tarte Amazonian Clay Bronzer in Park Avenue Princess and just a angled brush like this. And I'm gonna use this to contour. A little bit of blush to the apples and the backs of my cheeks. This is Tickled Pink from e.l.f. And then for my highlight, I'm just going to use a little bit of this Hard Candy in Pin Up. And I'm just gonna use this brush here and we're going to put that yeah. right as a highlight. You can go down the center of your nose. For my lips, I'm just going to use Angel from MAC. It's kind of like a nudie pink color. It's very wearable for everyone. And it doesn't take away from the eye. So I hope you guys like this look. Uh, it's using the Nutube palette. I think this is the second tutorial I've done using this. So I really love this. And don't forget to check out Nicole's video. She's doing a daytime look using the Nutube palette. And then, of course, I'm in charge of the night look because you know me. I love, like, my dark, smoky eyes. So... I hope you guys enjoy this, and if you try it out, please let me know. And again, don't forget to check out Nicole's video, so I will talk to you guys later. Bye!